So I wanted to show how we can find the ICOM files under CDs when we want to upload them for a second opinion. Uh, I have two different radiology CDs here. So the first one we open and we see a whole ton of files and this is a typical scenario. So there's a bunch of files for the built-in viewer on the CD um, and then a bunch of different folders. And in some cases it'll be really obvi obviously labeled which folder the images are in and that'll be the DICOM folder as in this case and we go in here and all of you we click through the folders and we finally get here and see there's actually six different studies in here and some only have one file some have multiple files uh, and we know there are DICOM files because they are large file sizes so DICOM files are typically five to thirty megabytes in size and these so these are all in the large these are all large sizes they're appropriate file sizes and I know that these are the studies because I checked ahead of time and they're in the DICOM folder, which helps. So what we can do if we want to upload all of these images, I can just copy that folder. So you do control C and copy that folder. Um, and then I've pasted it here. Um, so I'll just paste this one. That way I pasted the subfolder before actually. So here's the folder which contains all of the subfolders. And we can right click on that file, right click, and then come down to send to compressed zipped folder. And so that will uh, compress that folder down into one single file so we only have to upload one thing rather than a bunch of different things. And so now we have this DICOM folder with all of the images. We can see that that's approximately 56 megabytes in size. So too big to email but easy enough to upload to the Google Drive folder uh, that may be created for you to upload those into. All right, and so that's one scenario, um, but many times we have multiple folders that are unclearly labeled, and so we just kind of have to click through and see. Um, these are all DLL files, so we know they're they're not the files we're looking for, and they're um, not quite the right size. So they should either be just blank files, like our DICOM ones we showed here, or they should be .dcm files. All right, so that's the uh, one scenario. Uh, the other scenario is we just have um, a very basic light viewer built in. Um, and usually there's only one folder and so we can see that there's a uh, number of images here so we can do the same thing we can copy that folder and compress it to a zip folder or we could upload each of these individually but because they're large files most file servers or email servers won't let you upload more than 20 megabytes per email or 25 so upload you'd only get two per email so the easiest solution is just to up, uh, create a zip folder with all the files in it and then upload that to a google drive or if you're using gmail you can upload them to your email and it'll send it as a google drive link so those are the options for getting DICOM files off your CD and then sending them for a second opinion. If you have any questions, please post it in the comments and then I can record a video answer to help clarify how to get those images to uh, an expert for a second opinion.